Lean in, Lisa, put her to the test. Lean in, Lisa, so get it off your chest. It's more than just a trend, cause everyone's her friend. So lean in with Lisa, spend your time with Lisa. Lisa's got something to say. So reach out to Lisa every day. Got my leathers on. My Harley's parked outside, and I'm all ready for my guest. You all know him. From Sons of Anarchy, Deadwood, City of Lies. And you have seen him in many other movies. He's my dear friend who I adore. He's Dayton Callie. So reach out to Lisa every day. I'm here. <laughs> Hi, That's you? my boy. That's my you? boy. Hi. How are, How you? are you? I'm like confused. <laughs> That's okay. So am I. I don't know what the fuck to do here. Yeah. I don't either. And you know what? I think we should just, listen, I think we just get into the nitty gritty, okay? You could use uh, the word fuck as much as you want. Oh, did I, I just want to let you know that right now. You could say it as much as... The reason why you and I connected so well the first time we met was because uh, we both love using the, the word fuck. So you could say as, as fucking much as you want, all right? Yeah. You know what I like most, when I'm with the people who aren't from this country and they say fuck? They love to say fuck. <laughs> and and I was, the other day I'm- but They don't was, say it like us, Dayton. They don't say it like oh, us. No, they don't. Oh, this lady, these two ladies, elderly ladies, you know, like we were having dinner in the, in the restaurant, right? And I was next table over and there was one lady was very heated and she started going, he's fucking girl. I want to fucking kill him. <laughs> it sounded like uh, John, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, shit. Uh, uh, fuck him. Johnny Depp. No, 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 no. John uh, Wayne. John. <laughs> John Travolta. Stop, you're going to make it worse. <laughs> John, it doesn't matter. John, help me out, Alan. Help me, it help me out, Alan. No, it doesn't matter. I don't want to okay. do it. I don't want to say it. <laughs> you don't have to say it. You don't have to say no. it. But uh, uh, okay. when your kids when your kids were younger, did you punish them for, for using the four-letter words? No. They didn't really. Did you wash their mouth out? Wait, did you wash their mouth out with soap? No, 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 no. My mother tried that once, but that didn't work. What it didn't work? No, not for us. Yeah, because when I was younger, I was the first kid in my fourth grade. Like I was the one that would walk around like a truck driver, always saying, you know, every four letter word in the book. I sounded like Joe Pesci, and and I'm telling you, Dayton, because I grew up in Brooklyn, uh. so all the kids were like copying me, and the parents would never let me come over to their house because I was the one that. I was the first kid to like use all the, you know. You were teaching them the words. I was teaching them their vocabulary. Right. right. You were doing a good deed. I did a good deed. Where are you from? I'm from Newark. New right. Jersey. You're a Jersey boy. Yeah. You you in Frankie Valley. He lives Jack, around the corner. Jackie Nelson. Jack, uh, what's his name? Jack, no, uh, Nicholson. Jack Nicholson. He's from Jersey, right there. Um, so is Danny DeVito. So uh, is, Tom, isn't Frank Sinatra a Jersey? He's from Hoboken. Yeah, and uh, Tom Tom Cruise and John Travolta. They're all from Jersey. Yeah, but you know, oh, so I wore my leather jacket. Look, do I look like I should be in Sons of Anarchy? No, you, you got to be on the uh, uh, West Side Story. When you're a jet, you're a jet all the way from there your you first cigarette till your last dying day. There you go. How do you like that? Good. I like it. Okay. You know, have you ever seen The Man of La Mancha? Oh, To Dream. Yeah. My father's favorite song was To Dream the Impossible. That. I love that show. The whole, the who whole is, music. Do you remember who played? Do you remember who the lead was? Yeah. Uh, and I was surprised. It, it was one of guy, some guy. He's been on soap operas his whole life. Wasn't it Richard? Was it Richard? Wait, what was his name? Richard? No. Come on, Adam. Adam, help me out. Richard Klein did it originally. Richard Kiley. No, Klein. Oh, it was a Kiley. Yeah. Yeah, Richard. Was there? Oh, I know Richard Klein. He was in Three's Company. Um, Richard Kiley. Yeah, he he he's the one that's basically. The, the, he the, he originated the role. Yeah, 
Yeah. Right. Yep. I'm so when you were living in, so when you were living in Jersey, did you love going to like? Did you go to a lot of Broadway shows when you were a kid? No, I didn't. Oh. Remember, I didn't go to a Broadway show until I was forty-five years old. Seriously? Yeah, I we didn't have no money to go to Broadway shows. So how did you know? So so how did you know Man of La Mancha? Like how did you know? Oh, that was later. Later, yeah, much later. I knew the song, but I didn't never saw the play. Yeah. Do you know you're a very recognizable face? Oh, uh, that's what I hear. <laughs> in, a, in, a, in, a, in a very good way. Now, let me tell you something. I had a guy over here working on my TV uh, uh, 30 minutes ago, and I said, you got to get out of my house because I have somebody really special coming on my podcast. And and he said, who? And I go, Dayton Callie. He goes, Dayton Callie? Wait a minute, Dayton Callie? Dayton <laughs> Callie, really? I go, yeah. So I take your, go on Safari, you know, I Google you. And I show him your picture. He goes, I love that guy. <laughs> Deadwood. Well, Sons of Anarchy. Yeah. It was a pretty good run. <laughs> a pretty good run. But but you also did, wait, hold on. You also did Halloween. Uh, yeah. yeah. That, that was a mistake. <laughs> Why? Why was it a mistake? Uh, well... I signed on for for uh, a certain scene. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, my, uh, first of all, I didn't want to do the job, but my uh, my daughter happened to be. I was on the phone with my agent, and we were talking, you know, and, I, and he was telling me about Halloween. I says, I don't want to do fucking Halloween, you know. And he goes, No, 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 you gotta go. It's it's good. It's, it's gonna be uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah, no. Uh, who, who, who's the who's Who's the Rob uh, Zombie? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Rob Zombie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so she, I, I, I said, I, I don't, I don't, I, don't, I said to my age on the phone, I don't even, know, I don't know the fuck is Rob Zombie, right? All of a sudden, oh, my right. daughter's, my daughter's next to me, and she goes, Rob Zombie. I, I, I said, yeah. And she goes, you got to do the movie. I want to meet him. You know, of so, course. And she of course, you want to do the movie. She wouldn't let up, so I said, okay, I'll do the movie, right? But it was only a couple of good scenes. But then when I went to when I went to the show, the way they edited it was mm -hmm. crazy. Cut, was, cut, 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 cut. Oh, Slashed out of order, everything. I said, that's not what I signed on to do. But, you know, you don't have any power, so what the fuck are you going to do? What, and what was it like working with Rob Zombie? I don't, I don't think we said two words to each other. <laughs> we didn't say two fucking words to each other. You serious? Swear to God. Got called to the set. Did the fucking scene, went home. Never, never had one on one contact. Never, 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 had, never, never like had like, okay, uh, Dayton, <laughs> you got to do this. Dayton, Dayton, do it, you know, nothing. No, nothing. Nothing. He, I heard he's shy, you know, and he talks to his wife all the time, he puts his wife in movies, you know, and she's a tall blonde. Uh huh. Uh, so let me ask you this Are Jamie Lee's boobs real? <laughs> I'm not gonna tell. You can't tell. I don't you can't, know. You can't. You can't kiss and tell. All right. All right. We'll have. We'll talk about that over lunch. Yeah. Um. We'll go to Stanley's and have lunch. Our favorite. Is that our favorite place to go to lunch? Um. Uh, yeah. Just about. I don't no, know. we love it. We love uh, it, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's that good. was the last time we had lunch together at Stanley's. I like a booth. They have the booths, and that's love private. the booth. It feels like it's private. Yeah, so nobody has to bother you, ask you for your autograph, come over and do a selfie with well, you. Yeah, but more it's more like just hearing people. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's too, too noisy. Like, yeah. So, so I want to ask you, like, if you had a, 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 a chance what? to work with, like, anybody, like, like any leading lady on the big screen, of course, besides me, who would it be? Oh, wow. Damn, I don't know. Uh, I really, I, I, I don't know. I you can't I, think I, of anybody, huh? No, Nobody. I, Come on. Really oh, think no, of you got Charlize she, Theron. You have Meryl oh, yeah, Streep. You have, she's good. Huh? She's good. I'm not Who, Meryl. No, I'm. I'm not as big a fan of, of Meryl. I mean, I've never worked with her, so I shouldn't. How about Charlize? You like Charlize Theron? Yeah. Yeah, I like her. 
You like, uh, oh, what about Scarlett? Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, she's good you too. Could do, I think you should be, I think you need to be <laughs> in the next world. They, they don't let me, they don't let me kiss the, the girl. They don't, they, see, I don't get Why? The I don't know. Well, yeah. we have to let you kiss. You, oh, yeah, you yeah. need to be in the next Marvel movie, Dayton. You need to be in the next next Marvel movie. I look at that and I wonder who I could be. You know, uh, a villain. You have to be a villain. Yeah. Uh, you have to be one of the bad guys. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm not so sure. You, Go ahead. When did you know you were? When did you know that you really wanted to do this? Like, how old were you? I'm. I'm I need to know how old you were. Uh, I didn't. I never wanted to be an actor. It was all an accident. Um, what happened? I was a musician. You know, I played saxophone for 15 years. And it was during one of those down periods where you're out of work, you know, and it's not, not easy to find work as a saxophone player. So uh, a friend of mine who I got, I, I, it came to me one night a couple of years earlier that, and he was talking about how he wanted to be an actor and, but he was scared to try. And, and I talked to him into going, I said, you only get one fucking run at life. So it? try it, you know, uh, what are you going to mm -hmm. do? You know, you're going to not make it. So you're not making it now. What's the difference? <laughs> so, you know, he got into it. So he, he started taking acting lessons, right? Now this is fast forward two or three years later. He's got a little off of off Broadway play part, a part in you know off of off Broadway uh, production. So you know I happen to be there. He goes, uh, he's in rehearsal. He goes, Dayton, you, you got to do this role. I can't do it. I can't fucking do this role. Uh, you, you, but the, you're the you're the character. You're it's you. You know. I said, I'm not. What am I gonna do? I'm I'm not gonna do that. He goes, No, you got to do it. We open in two weeks and ten days or so. Oh my God! I got to bail them out. I said, right. All right, what the fuck? My band broke up, so I, I was coming back from the West Coast to the East Coast again, try to put together another group. Band, right? Yeah. You know, so um, I said, "All right, what the fuck? I'll do it." You know, I go and meet the director, and the director thinks we bullshit him a little bit. I told him I did some acting with like college and stuff like that. You know, he right, said, right. So he says, uh, "You know, okay, you, you look right. Uh, let's give it a go." So I started rehearsing, and I was pretty good, but it was a small role. Yeah, so yeah. I I got into on stage, and it was one of these stages where I was on stage ninety percent of the time. Wow! And the play stunk. It was like a <laughs> play, you know. But I didn't know that. I didn't know it sucked. So, you know, but I you thought, got a great review. <laughs> no, no. I mean, they didn't review. <laughs> Anyway, so wait a minute. So who? So who was the? So the guy that was the actor, your friend. Yeah. What did he do? What did he end up doing? He did he ever home. act again? Well, yeah, he did. He went home. Yeah. He's he went a, home. And so I, I, you know, I did the role, and I, I, as I'm standing on stage, I remember, and this ain't bad. Maybe I'll do this shit for a while, get famous, and then you know I'll take up my saxophone again this way, because I always it's a hobby. Woody, Woody Allen. You know, I used to play at Michael's on Monday nights. Yeah. Michael's was my favorite. That's right. You know, and so I thought, well, I'll be like Woody Allen. He don't need the money. He don't give a fuck who's in the audience. You know, he just goes up there and plays on Monday night. So I'll get famous and then I'll be able to do that on Tuesdays or something. Right. I mean, it took 40 years to be able to do that. <laughs> so, Did you play at Michael's? Did you actually play at Michael's? Uh, no, no, no. So I, I got into acting and started dipping my foot in, you know, my toe in. And it just became a thing where I thought, well, I wonder if I could be any good at this. It became a challenge to, you know, try to try to be good. Because, you know, like my playing my horn and everything else, I just wanted to be good. So um, I just decided to do it. Took took some lessons. It took like seven years to get a paying role on a, on a soap opera, One Life to Live. So. Oh, I remember I, I, yeah. I did all my children. I love, oh, you worked with some of the greatest actors on the right. show. Yeah, they're unbelievable the way they could. You worked read. with, did you work with um, uh, Judith Light? Yeah, 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 she was nice. You know? Great gal. Yeah, I mean, everybody was actually nice on the soap operas. That's, that's, that was nice. They, were, they were all nice, all, yeah. You know? So that's, that's, kind of, that's how I got in to it. And then it took a long, long time. To, it took me seven years to get a paying job. 
you know. But you had your you had your soap opera with like it's like you're like a family when you do a soap opera. You're like a the soap opera family. Yeah, and I, everyone's really. Yeah. You did it over on I remember 69th and Columbus over there in yeah. that area. Yeah. Right. Because yeah. I lived on 70 sec I lived on 72nd and Central Park West, and we I used to walk to the studio to do all my children on 69th. ABC. I, I lived on 74th and 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 uh, um, which one was it? Central Park West. Did we ever date? No. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Um. So you That's then how I got, got your, your you got your first role yeah. doing what was your first big like would you say pretty good role? This is my the first my first role I'll never forget it was phone call Mr. Barnes. That was my role. <laughs> that was what I did. <laughs> wait, 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 was that a movie, a feature film? On the soap opera. Oh, on the soap opera. Yeah, I was. I was. Phone, I, I was a waiter. I came over and I said, "Phone call, Mr. Barnes." And okay, I turned around. Listen, you got your SAM card. Got, yeah, I got well my uh, after card. You got your after card out of it. So you know, listen, you got to get you got to get your card somewhere, right? right? Right. So I, you know, allowed me to buy in from SAG, you know. And there was a funny time I, I was doing a SAG movie with the, uh, um, what the hell is his name? Oh, shit. God, I can't, I can't remember these people's names. You're talking about, uh, oh, oh, wait, 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 hold on. John Hurd. John, John Hurd. Yeah. Oh, I loved him. He died. I loved him. Yeah. Well, this is before he died. I right. Was. I hope so. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> I was so new. I was so, so new. Um, I, we went the director and the second AD, they were setting up a shot and, I, and and the director said, would you, you know, stand here and, and be a, you know, body a observer. You know, I mean, not an observer, but for standing. Right. Standing. So I said, sure. And I'm standing there and they're doing the camera thing and measuring me and everything. And, and, and John Hurt comes over and taps me on his shoulder. He goes, I got this. And I go, no, I'm standing for John Hurt. He goes, what? I'm standing in for John Hurt. I was told to stand in for John Hurt. No, no. And he, and he goes, oh, okay. Yeah, good. You know, <laughs> you stand in for John. Naturally, when they say places, fucking John comes walking over. He goes, I got this now. I went, I was so fucking embarrassed. I didn't know. Oh, who my God. That is his, that's great. That's something I would do. That's I something I would do. I didn't know who he was. I didn't know. I said, oh, oh, oh okay. I, I was, oh I my to, God, Dayton! That's hysterical. I love that story. He goes, uh, "Oh, I got it. I'm, I'm standing there for John Hurt." He went, "Oh, oh my God!" Oh, okay, like, I, I don't even know who the, who the fucking star of the show is. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I love I don't, it. Want to hear another one? I, yeah, yeah. I want to hear every story. I love your stories. That's when I was a, a, an extra, you know, uh, and bit parts and stuff. And so uh, we were in the warehouse, and Cindy Lamette was direct was directing and uh i got there a little early right i, I see the second ad and uh, uh i, I sent me i said where's the coffee thing so i go downstairs for coffee it's a couple of flights down so i go down and get a cup of coffee and i come back up and uh i'm watching you know everybody's kind of crowded around this elevator um, i'm wondering what's what's going on in the elevator and i i, I had two lines I had two lines. So everybody's wondering, you know, I mean, I'm wondering what everybody's looking at. So I see, and I, oh, it's the elevator, the elevator door. Now, I, I know I'm supposed to be the elevator operator. Okay. So I'm we're all watching, I'm drinking my coffee, and all of a sudden the elevator door goes, opens. And this elevator guy, this, you know, blue collar guy, starts saying my lines. Too right. I'm going, what the fuck? Those are my lines. He goes, oh, well, we, we looked for you, but we couldn't find you, so we stuck him in. Oh, my God. So my only shot at being in a film, a, a movie. With Sydney, with Sydney Lamette. It was boom, gone. You know, I said, I was downstairs. They sent me down for coffee. Was, what the fuck do we know? Okay. So he said, you can go home. So I packed my shit and went home.
I had to cross the picket line in front of Lisa's house to write uh, some questions for you. Shh. Um, I'm supposed to say that. I'm not supposed to cross the picket. Yeah, so oh. Adam, so Adam's gonna he's gonna throw you some curveballs, Dayton. Yeah. Just some just some questions, oh, you know. Question and answer, answer kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's okay. Well, we're not testing. We we're not testing. Right. Don't worry about it. No, just how many? How many? Because I, I how many enemies am I going to make after this is done? Only a few. It's okay. No, it's nothing like that. I, I just I do a little research. In fact, I knew more about you than Lisa did. Oh bullshit! That's not true. I hear about you all the time. Yeah. You didn't know where he was from. Okay. Oh my I God. Need... Okay. That's the yeah. only thing I didn't know about him. Well, yeah. Okay, okay. go ahead. Let's... But we want to learn anyway, more about him, so let's go. Dayton. Yeah, okay. you're going to learn a lot here. Uh, Dayton, Dayton, you're the you're the second most famous Dayton after Ohio. Have you ever worked with anyone else whose name was a city? Um, oh man. Austin Butler. Austin. He wasn't born. He was or Orlando Jones. <laughs> I worked with an Austin uh, on John from Cincinnati. All right. Wasn't oh, there you go. Was, was he the guy that I think I remember him? He was, was the lead John. guy. He was John. He was John, the lead guy. Yeah. yeah. He was, oh, because I remember him. He was at PBV's uh, wedding. I met, I saw him at Paul Ben Victor's. Yeah. Yeah. I forget Austin. What's his name? Yeah. Anyway, I got, right. I got the Austin. Work with you, Austin. Great. You've passed. You're one for one. Good job. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're probably most famous for your roles on Deadwood, Sons of Anarchy, and Fear the Walking Dead. What role are you least famous for? Oh shit! You were on Kate and Alley once, right? Yeah. Nobody remembers that. Yeah, right? yeah, that was my first okay. actual fun thing. But that one and uh, Seinfeld, I guess I did an episode of Seinfeld. But what'd you play on Seinfeld? On Seinfeld, the cab driver. Oh, I could see that. I, my, my whole my whole scenes were in the this, this episode were with uh, the girl. Elaine uh, was it? A, excuse was me? Elaine. Elaine, yeah. With Julia Louis Dreyfus. Yeah. Was it a she was, was it a famous episode? Was it a famous episode that actually you, people call me about it once in a while it comes on. <laughs> it was the Puerto Rican Day Parade. The episode where they, <laughs> they had the Puerto Rican and, and he the he steps on the cigar and they think he's stepping on a flag and then they start chasing him. <laughs> okay. It's kind of great. Funny. All right. Everyone should check it out. Um the entertainment industry. The entertainment industry is in the middle of the writer's strike. As I said, creative decisions are being made by corporate executives and AI is poised to take over. What household tasks would you prefer that AI actually take over? Household tasks? <laughs> yeah. What are you saying? Like, you know what, AI, go do it. Go, go do this job. Go wash the dishes. No, mop the fucking kitchen floor. Mop the fucking kitchen. Got it. Because yeah, uh, my, my girlfriend's always saying, look at, look at how dirty you're making the fucking floor. You Look at what you're doing. And I, I say, well, just mop the fucking thing. What do you want? Good answer. Right. Yeah. Good answer. Um, back during the Vietnam War, you served in the Navy. Is that true? I did. All right. Well, thank you for your service. Uh, uh, I got shot at more in Newark than I did in the, in the, in the <laughs> fucking well. Navy. Oh my Speaking God. of in the Navy, who is your favorite one of the village people? <laughs> oh, I had an operation with the Stetson. Doctor Stetson uh, did my shoulder. I told you he. I told you he's throwing you kick curveballs. Um, yeah. And uh, he's yeah. Uh, um, he was a, he's a, you know legit surgeon now. He was in the village people. Oh, he was he was in the village people. Yeah, and he's now he's the band. no, not him, but his partner. I got it correct. Oh yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, and, which, and, which, which one was he? I didn't know that. Which one? The deep voice Bowser. Ain't that the village people? That's Sha Na Na. Sha Na Na. That's oh. <laughs> okay. I got, I got that remember, 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 remember. Yeah. No, that's that's Sha. That's that's Sha Na Na. That's Sha Na Na. Bowser was Sha Na Na. The one that would go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Vill yeah. yeah village people is YMCA oh, no, and YMCA. in the Navy, and you got an Indian right, and a yeah, construction. It was multiple choice. Yeah. It was multiple I, choice. <laughs> I can't fucking remember the village people or village animals. Okay, let's go on to the next one. I don't like that question. All right, anymore. this is it. This is it. 
this is this is good and, and Lisa you didn't know this I don't know if you read my questions beforehand uh your character's name in Sons of Anarchy was named Wayne right uh uh-huh. in the Poconos of Pennsylvania your family owns a candy store that's true and it's just it's just five miles away from the border of Wayne County that's true that's not the question the question is do you like Twizzlers or Red Vines uh, they're both licorice. Yeah. They're do licorice. I gotta make a choice? Do I gotta make a choice? Yeah, it's a big thing. This country is very divided of whether you like Twizzlers or Red Vines because they're both licorice, but one of them is actually actually good and one of them is horrible. But it's kind of an East Coast West Coast thing, actually. I East like Coast. Is part- I like the fucking chocolate one. Okay. Ain't there, talking- ain't there a chocolate one? Well, you know what? The chocolate ones are the red are the chocolate vines. Right. Oh, there's black licorice. Oh, you like black? Know, no, 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 not licorice. Not yeah. licorice. Chocolate. Right. Re- they look like red vines, but they're chocolate, and they are killer, man. I yeah. love them. I love That's, those. Yes, those are the ones. Two. Okay, uh, yeah, great mind. Well, I, I, I knew that because I actually went to camp near near that uh, candy store. Not that I think I think it's closest to a Canadensis, but I went a little Can bit further I north. Call it Callie's Candy Kitchen. Yes. That's what my oh my, my cousins. Callie's Second Candy place. Kitchen is called. I, you know, I looked up the trivia. It was not far from where I went to camp. Uh-huh. So, yeah, yeah, that's was, how I knew about Wayne. It made me think started, of Wayne County. That, that's he started. That that was my cousin's his second cousin. The, the Callies on the the farmer side, you know. And yeah. uh, he started out with a little little one one person shop in uh, Eastern Pennsylvania. Wow. And he, he turned it into a, a million dollar business, you know. Yeah, no, that's, yeah, I mean, that's, it's I mean, there's bad. not a lot out there. So no. I'm, I'm from Philadelphia. So I, I went a up. Tourist stop. You know what I mean? When they go, people went, the buses went to the, to the yeah. um, Poconos, they would stop at yeah. Cali's Candy Kitchen and he'd yeah, go in, he'd do a little show on how to make yeah. candy and shit. You know? But it's not like Eddie World. That's like Eddie World. And uh, unfortunately, yes, sure. Is it's it kind of like, like Eddie World? Yeah. Kinda. I mean, it's candy yeah. shop. Yeah. Um, those, wow. Those are my, those Adam, Adam, very impressed. Well, I hope I got a couple of them right. Yeah, you're pretty good. You're like three for five. <laughs> Adam, good. thank you. That was really very impressive that you uh, knew so much about Dayton. I, I think you know research. more about Dayton than Dayton. Huh? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you very right, much. Adam. It was great meeting you. And maybe we'll see you at a barbecue or something. All right. Yeah, but- we're going to have him over at a barbecue yeah. and uh, until a barbecue. You're, 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 you're a writer. Yeah. You're a writer. Yeah. What do yeah, you think? he's gonna write his don't forget to put Dayton in your next film, Adam. Yeah. Well, I, I do yeah. mostly comedy. That's why I don't see a lot of the, the, the work he's done. He does almost all I used to do with comedy. comedy. All I well, ever I probably did. saw you on Seinfeld, obviously, and, and Kate and Alley. I used to watch Kate that. And, and then, yeah, I did a lot of comedy and all of a sudden I did some drama and then they just my agents and everything everybody everybody went to me pushing me on the drama side instead of the I used to do sitcoms and shit like that. Yeah. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It was fun. Yeah. But then uh, they somehow got into the drama role and they said, oh, he, he can't be funny anymore. I, right. Really? <laughs> he said, wherever the money is, just do it. Yeah. Um, it's just comedic, but uh, wherever the I'll find something for you. Is. Oh, okay. So, Thank you very much. I'll try not sure. to fuck it up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lisa. Back to Lisa. Bye, Adam. Okay, so back to me. Okay, I want to know what it was like to work with Johnny Depp on City of Lies. Um, It was it was great. Yeah. It was really really yeah. It was great guy. Good guy. I mean, you know, we didn't hang out and shit, you know, but right. um, All our scenes were just discussed, and it was just pretty. It was I worked with him anytime. Anytime. Yeah, I hear he's a real. I hear he's a class act. I, that's what I know. You yeah, know, I don't he goes, know does his me. job, and then he goes home, and that's what they want you to do, right? I guess I, that's all I do. I don't want to hang out. And, right, you, know, you do your yeah. job. And go, that's why you're because you're an actor's actor. I have to take this jacket off. You mind if I take my jacket off because I'm schwitzing here? <laughs> no. I ahead. forgot to put my bra. Oh shit! I forgot my bra. Hey, <laughs> Alan, are you okay? am I okay? Are you okay if I don't have my bra on? That's okay. YouTube might flag us, but we should be good. All right. Okay. Hold on. I got to adjust. I'm adjusting. Hold on. I'll mark it as explicit. Oh. Okay. So listen. 
Do you enjoy, vo you did a lot of voiceover work? I don't do any. I did two voiceovers. You and, did uh, Archer. Yeah. And, and Archer? Uh, something yeah. else. I did, I did, oh, oh. The, Left uh, for Dead? Green, war, yeah, a war game. Like where I was a bad Left, guy. Left for Dead, right? Yeah, I think it was it. Yeah. Left for Dead 2 or Left for Dead, yeah. I'm surprised you don't do, like, you want to, I'm surprised that we don't hear you more. I, I know. So am I. Well, <laughs> Well, so you know. it, it's like it's like uh, you know, tight world. Uh, that voiceover stuff. No, um, no, I know. It's a tight, they use like a lot of the same people over and over again. A lot of like a handful of, you yeah. know, the same people over and over again, right? Yeah, I mean now that now, now all the celebrities jumped in and they're, you know, taking up all the work. They're doing all <laughs> the endorsements. A lot of the like big names. Yeah. Like, oh, all I know. That. Oh, he'll be great. Yeah. You know, they don't give anybody else a shot. So, yeah, it really sucks. But I wanted to ask you, uh, so do you have like a favorite person that you worked with that you really, of all the things you've done? Oh, wow. Is there one person that you can really remember was so fun to work with? Well, yeah. I mean, it, 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 who's the Sopranos girl? What's her name? Oh, oh uh, you're talking about Edie Falco? Um, Edie Falco. No. The, the, Not, the, the, thank the you, daughter. Alan. Oh, um, um, Jamie, uh, Jamie uh, Lynn, Jamie Lynn Siegler? No. no. Wait, the daughter on The Sopranos? Oh, yeah, she, yeah, she, 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 was in Sopranos? Oh, no, no, she was on Sons of Anarchy. Oh, you're talking about the, da the daughter on Sons of An Anarchy? Yeah, and she was in in uh, in uh, Sopranos too. She got killed by the the, the kid. They ran her over. Oh, Dre you know? the tail. There you go. Oh, Dre. I love Drea. We we we. I, I I don't I haven't seen her since, but we we cracked each other up. We had a, we couldn't stop laughing a few times. You know, yeah, we, she's gorgeous. Oh, is she gorgeous? We had a, we had a good time working together. You know. That's great. That's cool. Yeah. Um, so oh, well, you know, the girl, all the girls I, I worked with on Deadwood were good and, and stuff. I, I've had good times with all of them. So you're easy. You're an easy guy to work with, though. You really I are. Try to be. I try to be. Yeah. You know, yeah. So what do you do when you're not working on on the, like doing you know and when you're not acting? Like, do you have a favorite thing to do? A hobby or something like a passion besides acting? My fucking dog. Walk my dog. My Me too. Is that the the best? Yeah, she's a pain in the ass, but I love her to death. You know. Oh. She's 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 just a, she's a piece of work. She's smart as hell too. You know, but I. French. I, bull, she's a French bulldog. Yeah, ugly as shit, man. First time I. <laughs> Those are the best. First, first Those are the time, cutest. She was. An, we adopted her, right? And Somebody so, has to adopt her. Oh so, yeah. And so she came around the corner on a leash, you know, my, my girlfriend's son brought her home. And uh, as she came around the corner, I looked and I go, that's the ugliest fucking <laughs> dog I ever saw in my life. <laughs> I'm saying this to myself and they're going, oh, isn't she cute? And after you look at her a while, she becomes beautiful. I mean, there's so much expression in her face. Oh, it's character, it's character. Yeah, it's something, boy. Now Have you I ever done that? Prettiest dog on the planet now. <laughs> of course she is. Of course, yeah. she's your baby. Yeah. Have you ever done that, though? Speaking of babies, have you ever done that with a baby where you look at someone's baby and go, that is the ugliest fucking baby I've ever seen? Oh, remember the Seinfeld episode with Elaine? Yeah. What Do you, Alan, it? remember that? <laughs> when, when they had Alan, the where's Alan? <laughs> yeah. Alan, are you on the air? Are you with yeah, us? I'm here. My mic wouldn't turn on. Where, where, where are you going? Are you going to take a piss? What are you doing? No. Okay. Do you remember the Seinfeld when Elaine walked into the the nursery and looked in the crib and looked at the baby and yeah. said she didn't want to say the baby was the ugliest baby? She, do you remember her expression? Yeah, yeah. She was mortified by the ugly baby. Was that one of the funniest Seinfelds you've ever? I I, I was peeing. I had to run. I was busting a gut. I think about it every time I meet one of my friends. All, all my friends are having babies now. I think about that episode all the time. Yeah, that's what I do. Because Rick always. 
Do you have any babies? You got any children? No. No? <laughs> Not yet. Somebody... They will. Not yet. They've been married. How long have you been married, Alan? Uh, this is, uh, what, three years in October, together for t uh, nine years. Yeah, some, some children aren't for everybody. <laughs> Alan, you know? where are you? In, outside of Scranton. We're not far from the candy shop. I was, I'm thinking I'm going to go after the episode. Yeah. Well, the, my cousin Delano, who started the whole thing, it was his place. He's dead. So his daughter mm -hmm. took over. And, you know, she's running it now. But and you know what? Is, here's something terrible. Out of tragedy, it was like oh, no. my, my cousin Delman, or the, the owner of the shop, his daughter used to help out around the thing, around the shop. You know, she was little, like four or five years old. She stuck her fingers in the hand in the machine and lost three fingers. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Yeah, the guy, oh, of course, she was heartbreaking. That's so That's sad. Heartbreaking. That's so That's heartbreaking. Oh, my yeah. God. I bet she she learned how to do everything, you know. She's but she's amazing. But um, talk about yeah, a downer. That was mm -hmm. you know, with the good came the bad kind of thing. You know, the shop was a great success. The kid gets hurt. You know? Did she have her fingers? Uh, did she have them like like the, were they no. able to add no, fingers uh, to her hand or anything like that? No. No, no, they no. Back then, this is a long time ago. Uh, you know, she just, you know, used uh, two fingers, three fingers, you know. Right. She did what she had to do. I didn't want to bring a bummer down. Wait a minute. Yeah, I know. I'm like really depressed now. <laughs> so you got to uh, lift me up a little bit here. Dude, uh, tell me a joke. Running, I don't know anything. She's running the whole place now. I she like went, that. It ended on a good note. Yeah. She's good. Very happy, rich girl. I know? love it. That may, See, now I'm happy. Yeah, be happy. Now I'm she happy. Will. I'm happy. Everybody's happy. All the Callies are happy up there. You know, I had Paul Ben Victor on my podcast. Do you remember? You oh know, Paulie. God. He did. Can you believe he has a baby? Yeah. He has I a baby. Seen, I haven't seen her yet. I know. You're so, not a grandfather. Are you a grandfather? You're not a grandfather yet, are you? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh, you are? Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> How many? I have. You have three grandchildren. How many grandchildren do you have? I got two. Two. Yeah, you love them. Pain the ass. Uh, yeah, okay. when they're not stupid, <laughs> you know, just never know what the fuck they're gonna come up with. What kind of what kind of plan for life they have? Right. Uh, actually, they don't have a plan. <laughs> well, that's the you problem. Gotta, you gotta you gotta hope you gotta hope that they're gonna make smart choices. And not follow all the assholes well, and really like have a goal. I think having a goal is a good thing. Yeah. Trying, always try because you never know if you're going to make it or not, you know, and failure sometimes is okay because you learn from your mistake. You, if you fail, at least, you know, you tried, right? It's gotta be okay. You know, you gotta try. Otherwise you don't know. Right. Yeah. And then, and then you, my mother always had a saying, uh, if you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans, you know, because you like, that's the way life goes. It takes you this uh -huh. way, it takes you that way. Back to when I was going to be a, an actor or a saxophone player, I never I had no idea I was going to be an actor. You know, I just, I, I, my group broke, broke up and so I was putting it together and that all that shit takes time. And uh, next thing I know, I'm, I'm an actor. How the fuck did that happen? It's it's a it's like the universe works a certain way, yeah. you know. It it made you it led you there. Yeah, yeah. You know, just now, now I have I have a very important question. All right. Do you still play the saxophone? I fool around a little bit. I I, still I consider myself terrible. You know, mm -hmm. it's just to get myself back to where I was. You know where I played is not that easy. <laughs> you know your arm is sure your lips, your thing, everything has got to get working right, and that it, it takes time. It's a lot of breathing and a lot of you have to you know I do all that shit over again. You know all that like, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when we have a barbecue here, when we have you over, you'll bring your sacks. So uh, and I'm not ready for that. All right. <laughs> I'll, we'll well, see how we, when but you'll come to the well. You will come over for, to a barbecue here, right? Yeah. You'll bring Carol. You and Carol come over. 
Yes, we will. We will. I Bye. can't wait to see. Dayton, this was a pleasure having you. I can't even tell you how happy I mean this. I'm going to cry, but I'm. you know how much I love you? Oh, thank you. I love thank you so you. much. You are the good people. You are one of the good people yeah. out there. I try and to be. No, you don't have to try. You are. And I so appreciate you coming on my podcast today. Um, I mean, it's fun. It's fun. I didn't know. I, I mean, I could talk to you for three more hours, but I have to go pee. Yeah. Well, you, you go pee. I, I was, we'll do this again sometime. You know, we'll do it again. Anytime you want, we'll do it again. And but, um, no. send my love to Carol. I was just going to say, did you, did you see that Johnny Depp movie I did with him? City of Lies? Yeah. Did you see I, it? Or no? no, but I will watch it. I want it's, Rick. Rick and I are going to watch it. It's a good movie. It really is. I'm, a lot of shit went down that was not right, but with the producers and stuff, and that's why it didn't get a release right away. Because who was suing this one? And who's suing that one? Who's suing this one? And so it, they, they. Who is the Who is the director on that? Do you remember who directed that? Yeah, um, was, who was it? Brad Furman. What year? Well, that was so. That was done back in the about five, five years ago, six years, five years, about five years ago. But it wasn't released until last year. A lot of stuff went down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It wasn't. It was. You know, it got ugly. I guess credit wise, money wise, spending. It's always about that. You know, but it wasn't from him. Unfortunately, it's yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, so Rick and I are going to watch it. And when, when next time we get together, we have lunch, we're going to talk about it. Okay. 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 You're going to enjoy it. I think you're really going to like it. It's the. I'm sure I will. If, if you're okay. in it and Johnny Depp is in it, how could I not like it? It's, it, it came out. I didn't know what to think, but it, it was good. It's really a good movie. Anyway. I can't wait to see more of you on well, the big screen. Yeah. I took a little break. I you know. know. I, I, didn't, I didn't really feel like doing the whole COVID thing and all that stuff. So I didn't want to rush back and, you know, go through all that shit. You know, just yeah, it's I, okay. It's okay. Yeah. Listen, we have a writer strike now, so nobody's going to be doing much of anything yet. I know. I know. They're, but, still, uh, far, they're still far apart. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of people out of work. A lot of people out of work. A lot of people. Yeah. It's uh, it's crazy. Did you hear anything about SAG? No. Are they gonna? They're talking about a SAG strike. Are they? That's what I heard. No, no I didn't hear about it. You know, I've been only half assed way in in and out of the in and out of the business. Like it, yeah, yeah. I get the urge, and sometimes I go, I don't want. No, no, don't do that. You know, like I had to turn down one movie just recently. But uh, it's just too much flying over here and this and that. I'd uh, rather stay close to home in town. Stay you know. local, not yeah. have to get on a plane. No, I, 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 you know, then transfer to another. This one was like two stops. And once you get that middle of the stop. Oh, no, no, no. Nonstop. Only go, I only go nonstop. Yeah, yeah. You can't get stuck there, man. <laughs> no, you, then you're stuck. For, yeah, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to deal with airport. that. <laughs> You know, people yeah. are you're sleeping people on the breathing bed. on you, people breathing and sneezing and schnutzing and schnitzing on you. <laughs> Who the <laughs> fuck needs that, right? <laughs> I don't need it. You don't need it. I don't. <laughs> we don't need it. Thank God. Thank God, right? We don't fucking need any of that. Uh -uh. No. I love you. I love you, Dayton. All right, hon. I want to thank my dear friend Dayton Galley for being my guest today. And I want to thank my producers, Alan Tuzinski and Melissa Lenner from Pretty Easy Podcast, Adam Labarkin, and my composer, Jeff Urband. And I want to thank all of you for listening and tuning in. And until next time, leaning out. Lean in, Lisa, put it to the test. Lean in. Lisa, so get off your chest. It's more than just a trend, cause everyone's her friend. So lean in with Lisa, spend your time with Lisa. Lisa's got something to say. So reach out to Lisa every day.